Hello everyone, I'm Victor Lax and this is a tutorial for showing you how I use my develop presets. Before starting, I should introduce what is develop and develop is a platform for editing. They simulate the look of the photos of many, many of the best photographers. And we have been working together during the last weeks on the final look of my photos, not only for the black and white photos, but, but also for the color ones. Also, I would like to say thanks to Fearless Photographers for helping and supporting us with everything. As always, it's a pleasure. Thanks, we for everything. And Develop created these five presets, uh, and they are called Bochorno, Cierzo, Tramontana, Levante, and Poniente. These names are um, are, uh, are names of the winds of my country. Uh, I'm from Spain and we Spanish uh, have a lot of names for wins and these five are the most popular, okay? The, the first three, Bochorno, Cierzo and Tramontana are created or were created, sorry, for color, color photos and Levante and Poniente for the black and white, okay? Um, let's go and I normally use bridge, uh, bridge and camera row but if you, if you are using Lightroom, it's, it's the same, it's totally perfect, okay? Let's start with, with the first preset, and I, cho I chose sorry, this photo. Um, and it's time for using Bochorno, and you can see with only, with only a click, the photo is already finished, but um, I, would like to, I would like to explain that there is Something else, something like a click, no? Oh, if you are pressing Bochorno, okay, it's perfect, and the photo is already finished, but for me, as when I work with Photoshop, uh, I, I love use brush, brushes, sorry, and develop created two incredible brushes, contrast and multiply. And I always use, uh, in my photos, contrast or multiply. In this way, for example, contrast, is perfect for these this, this shadows of the photo. And you can see if, if we are pressing this magical preset, is the wedding dress changed completely. And also, you can see the red now are super, super okay. It's, it's something like contrast plus a little bit of saturation. Uh -huh. and, and now I would like uh, to go down the light here and obviously here in the hand and this part, okay? And now I create a new brush, in this, this time multiply, and you can see, it's amazing. And a little bit here on the seat and in the corner. The photo in only five, <laughs> 10 seconds maximum is finished. Finally, I would like to do a little bit of, no, it's too much, here, and a little bit of contrast, and the photo is finished, okay? Go with the next one. Now it's time for Cierzo. Cierzo uh, is really similar to Bochorno, but uh, it's very intelligent preset. It's, uh, Cierzo adds a little bit of saturation, you can see here, for example, Cierzo, uh -huh. But I love uh, to use brushes. As I said, now it's time for multiply. Sorry, and I paint a little bit here in the in the bright in the brightness part and mm, go down the light. The photo, the photo is it really finished. But 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 as as always, I love to play with brushes. And I paint here a little bit with contrast, and maybe it's too much. Now, now it's perfect. Okay, and you can see now it's it's only it's I I normally use the preset and and after this I use brushes. Sometimes only multiply and sometimes only contrast and sometimes both of them like Tramontana. This way. When I am using Tramontana, I normally use sorry, I normally use Tramontana when when I have a, a, 
a high key light noise or a high key photo, sorry, with, with, with a lot of light, something like this. Mm -hmm. You can see Tramontana because with only a preset, the photo is finished, no? It's, it's something, something quick, something perfect, no? But uh, brushes are super okay for creating the atmosphere or simulating the, 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 the mood of the moment, no? New, new brush, and now it's time to use multiply. A little bit here. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, finally, normally some, I apply it a little bit and the photo is finished. These are the three color presets and you can see now the difference. Okay, first of all is Bochorno. Uh, um, Bochorno is my favorite one, it's for, for the 90% of all, all of my color photos. The next one is Cierzo, and Cierzo, as I said, um, adds a little bit saturation, of saturation, sorry, and the final one is Tramontana for high key photos, okay? Now it's time for going to the black and white, okay? Black and white presets, and the first one is called Levante. I normally use Levante for this kind of photos with a neutral light, okay? Here is a little bit a little part of, or a little bit, sorry, of highlight, but this is not a problem when, if I use Levante, and you can see, no, you can see, as always, with only a click, the photo is, is finished, it's already finished, but I think uh, with a few seconds more, applicant, if I apply, apply, sorry, contrast, a little bit here, Another part, bam, the musician, and this part of the wedding dress, okay. And finally, as always, bind it, uh -huh. and the photo is finished. Done. Finally, the last one, and this is my favorite for black and white, okay. You can see here, this is Poniente, or I would like to use now Poniente, and Poniente is perfect for this kind of photos with high contrast. You know that uh, I love hard light, hard contrast, uh, uh, and this is the best example, Poniente. You can see the result, but here I add a little bit of blacks, okay, here, and what is the next step? Yes, using the brushes. And in this way, I would like to use contrast again for the shadows. And, and look at this, what is happening with the veil. Something magic is happening. Uh -huh. And for finishing, multiply. For highlights, uh -huh. and this part, as well, and uh, finally, I would like to apply another multiply, uh -huh, and a little bit more light this way. Uh -huh. Okay, so a little bit of light, contrast again, and photo is finished. Okay, my friends, hope you liked the video. Um, sorry, sorry again for my bad English. Um, it's not the best, I'm so sorry. But I, I hope you understand everything. Um, uh, however, if you, if you have any questions or doubts, you can contact me on social media or here on YouTube and I will answer you very, very fast. Okay, hope you like it. Bye bye, my friends. Bye bye.